thanks for joining me today for another video unboxing. For you right now, I have the uh, Assassin's Creed Legacy Collection busts, and this one in particular is for Connor Kenway, which of is of course the uh, protagonist of Assassin's Creed 3. Now, I think Connor, to be fair, I think myself, I'll give him a bit of a bad rep, even though I did enjoy Assassin's Creed 3, but in hindsight, I think perhaps he was a bit of a misunderstood character, a character driven by pure vengeance to avenge his family's death. And I think, looking back, it's probably more, it's a different tale on the normal Assassin's Creed formula, where it's normally on or whatever, even though Ezio was originally driven by the yeah, murder of his father and whatnot. But anywho, I pre-ordered these. These have been available for quite some time now. I say these because I've also got the Aveline Bus to unbox. So that'll be up on my channel also. But I ordered them from uh, Ubisoft where you can get, if you order them both at the same time in the same basket, you save an additional 10%. Plus, you can uh, if you've got a U, Uplay account, you can redeem some uh, 20 Uplay points to get 20, no, 100 Uplay points I think it is, to get 20% off. So all in all, it okay, counts to like £26 each, which aren't bad considering on their own they're £40, I think, even at the cheapest, some of the independent retailers. They still can cost £30 to £40 anyway, so 26 quid for them both. I'm very happy with that. Anyway, enough of my rambling, I'm going to unbox this video, so let's get to it. So have a quick spin round. Yeah, deep in the heart of the 18th century North America, as beautiful as it is harsh, a revolution is brewing in the 13 in the 13 colonies. It is here that the Assassin's Creed 3 introduces its hero, Rotto Nakadabach. Born a Native American, mother of British father, taking the name Connor, he will fight for freedom and justice, surrounded by the flames of a revolution. Okay, there's the back of a box, and he is nine centimeters in height, and he's made of a PV, PVC plastic. And like all the other busts you get with this, they're on a base which you can remove them if you want. But to me, I look far better on the actual base itself. Anyway, so let's crack him open. Here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nothing else in there, so here is Connor. And I think the detail of him, like with your Assassin's Creed bust that I've got, are all of very good quality. So let me move my hand, let's have a spin round. Obviously, he's got no arms as you get with most busts. The back here, he's got his, uh, is it a quill? They're called with his arrow to hold his arrows for his bow and arrow. So a closer look of Connor. Yeah, man, that's uh, that's a good quality. He's got good detail on his hood there. Really happy with that. It looks moody. Looks every bit as moody as what you expect him to be. If you're familiar with the game. detail and as quill as well that's a I say overall this is a very good piece I must say it's fantastic there you go it's pretty much all there is to show you off of him to be fair let's place him down here so that my friends concludes this video unboxing really do appreciate you joining me for this if you haven't done already please like share and subscribe you can even follow me on Twitter at Solidus Snake, and that's f f Snake spelt with a five. The same as my YouTube username. So hit me up there. Hit me up on there if you wish. Couldn't get my words out. Apologise. So until next time, my friends. Thank you and peace out.